Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. It was very challenging. Uh, there were a lot of unknowns. Um, it was, uh, for a pilot, it, it was uh, a wonderful experience. Beautiful view. Isn't that something? Magnificent sight out here. I think the American public has lost its appetite for taking risk. If there is no possible failure, then there is no real chance for a victory or no real chance for a reward. A life that was uh, relatively ordinary has its degrees of security. When you begin to get out into prominent achievements, that you begin to expose yourself a good bit more to the inquiring nature of, uh, of the public. And, and this puts you out on stage. Some people are more at home with this environment than others are. Uh, some people uh, take to that nicely and some people don't. Pure gravy when we got back. And we had all that science with us too. And we got on the we got on the Pacific Ocean and um, sat there in the water. And the frogmen came out and opened the hatch, put a collar around, gave us a life raft to get into. And I sat in the life raft for a few minutes. And saw the saw the carrier sitting over there. All the helicopters flying around. All these guys in the water. Zillions of people around. And I sat there and thought, I wish I was back up there. Did you know I was on the moon? I, I looked around, I didn't see a single dollar bill up there. Every single dollar went into the pockets of the individuals who worked on the program. In the long term, anything can happen. You know, the free enterprise system, if somebody can make a buck, they're gonna do it. And that's gonna be the driving, the driving mechanism that, that gets it done. But children and grandchildren, maybe will be bouncing around up there one day. It's a strange little uh, satellite the moon is, and uh, I think everybody ought to get to see it before we're done. When uh, folks get back up there, they're going to love it.